In this video, I'm going to show you the best offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about how to get better at Madden 21. And I, I asked that question through a couple of different lenses. I learned from myself, learned from other people, learned from practicing, and I also learned from my uh, losses as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk today about what I believe to be the best the most simple and the most effective scheme in Madden. Now, again, if you've never been to my channel before, we our goal is to simply help people get better at Madden. So if you're looking to get better at this game, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe. If you want to support the channel even more, become a member, consider becoming a member. That supports me a ton and allows me um, the freedom to be able to keep making these videos for you. But I want to jump right in here to the bunch tight end formation. Um, this is my favorite offense in the game right now. And the reason why it's my favorite is because it is super, super simple to run and it's also super super effective and so if you want to get a scheme that is both super simple and at the same time super effective this to me is the scheme for you now we're going to break down um, a play today that is a little bit different than you want what you might expect from the bunch tight end a lot of you expect to play pa boot over or pa cross and i believe that that is a very very good play as well but the play we're going to talk to you about a little bit today is the play curl flat corner. Now curl flat corner can be ran in. We're going to show you two different setups today. These are free samples of our bunch tight end ebook. Now I've been talking about how I've been running bunch tight end a lot and I'm going to be releasing a new offense soon and it's finally here. The offense is out. I just released it last night and so far the reviews have been amazing. People have been falling in love with this little offense and have really truly said that they don't, you know, they're glad that I finally released something that was super super simple because if you know, even if you're the best Madden player in your community or you're the worst Madden player in your community or your circle this offense is for you because it's so simple it can scale up and it can also scale down so beginner players can get a lot out of it and advanced players can get a lot out of it as well so that being said let's dive into the play we're going to be talking today about curl flat corner now uh, when i run this play what i like to encourage you to go ahead and do is i think that it makes a lot of sense to set it up just like this we're going to put antonio brown on an out route we're going to take chris godwin and we're going to smart route him we're going to take mike evans and we're going to streak him and then on the back side, you can pretty much do whatever you want. What I actually like to do is I like to take the tight end and put him on essentially a block and release cross. And then for the running back, I like to block and release either block and release hook him or block and release flat him, delay flat him. Okay? That way if we get any pressure, we can handle it on that side of the field. And we you know have our routes obviously to the left side. And on the left side of the field, the one thing that I like to do is I like to motion Antonio Brown to the left one step and then snap the ball and essentially when if the play breaks down oftentimes what's going to happen because you have those two delay routes next to one another on that right side of the field you're going to notice that a lot of the times you're going to actually get the player that's guarding the running back to essentially blitz and then the running back can go out and on a route either the running back or the tight end can both go on routes so essentially you've got to read you're going to essentially read this flood concept to the left side and then you're going to work to the back side now uh, as you can see here this route to chris godwin is really the key route to this offense and as you can see he has the slot matic ability now what i would recommend is using route technician or just simply having a player that has over 90 route running if you have a player that has over 90 um over 90 route running that's going to be huge for this scheme and again there's a couple of ways that you can run this and it does depend a little bit on your scheme it does depend a little bit on your personnel in terms of how you run it now obviously that was man coverage i want to talk to you briefly here um, about the cover three because the cover three was re recently patched in an update to the game and it really changed how cover three plays, especially when it's facing a bunch type of set. And so I just want to talk to you briefly about that and show you this little setup right here, which essentially is to drag Mike Evans and then motion him from, from right to left. But what you'll notice is you're going to be able to still run the zones off with the streak from the backside. Now, if you wanted to, you could do the same thing. You would just do it from different receivers. One of the things I love the most about the bunch tied in is you can motion 
you could motion this receiver outside if you wanted to. So if you wanted to, you could do something like this. I'm not saying you ever would, but you could do a route combination that's like this. And again, you know, that's just some kind of wrinkle that you can throw in every now and then. Maybe they're manning up the flat. So maybe if you wanted to, you could do something like that. So those are just some tools um, to have in your tool belt. But really what I wanted to show you uh, with this play is also the fact that in Mutt, I typically have Playmaker on Mike Evans, right? Um, because that's the route that is the drag route in the PA cross. Well, if this guy were to have Playmaker in Mutt, then you could put him on a drag, but this time you could be dragging him across in that direction right there. The only reason I'm showing you this is because of how effective it, this this uh, this combination really is against both man and zone coverage. Because again, what you have to think about is how they're going to stop you. One of the ways that they're going to stop you is essentially by taking Mike Evans or taking their 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 linebackers and playing a Mabel coverage here on the right side. Well, when you bring this drag across the formation, you're going to see that you can basically pass that route up and click on and make the catch with Chris Godwin over the top of the defense. Now, one other thing that I wanted to show you really quickly is let's just say that you're running your standard flood against the zone coverage, right? You're running the same thing that we had talked about prior. You'll notice that this play just kills zone coverage. You're going to see here that the, the corner runs out, essentially, and Chris Godwin is going to come open. And these are zone drops that are shaded back at about 25 yards um, against your opponent. So you're going to be able to beat pretty much every zone um, in the entire game just with this simple uh, progression right here. As you can see, get him on the sideline and really be able to make a play. Now, if you have Gunslinger or Pass Elite, it definitely helps a lot with the setup. Another setup that I wanted to go over with you really quickly is another one of my favorite setups in the game. Essentially, all we're going to do is we're going to streak Brown. We're going to we're going to smart route Chris Godwin, of course, and then what we're going to do with our tight end on the backside here is with this setup, I like to go ahead and take the running back and put him on a wheel route, and the tight end is going to be on a curl route, and we're just going to motion Godwin from right to left. And what you'll notice is this motion from right to left is essentially going to allow Godwin, of course I got a really bad throw there by, by Brady, but that motion over is going to allow Chris Godwin to be wide open really against a lot of different types uh, of cover three um, of cover three zones. So whether it be cover three, whether it be cover four, you're gonna see that streak's gonna pull everything back. And then you see right there you're gonna be able to basically pass lead it in between the deep blue and the curl flat zone for easy separation. Now this is really cool because not only does it beat man, or I'm sorry, not only does it beat zone coverage, but um, it beats man as well. And of course you can you, you can use the delay fade, you can do it really whatever you want. But as you see, when you motion this route over, over it still beats man-to-man -man coverage to the inside. So it gives you a lot of flexibility with how you can run this offense. And there's really a lot of like, um, window dressing that you could do for example one of the things that i like to do is go into the play um pa boot over and occasionally i'll do this setup i don't do it a ton but occasionally i'll just motion over this crossing route and what you'll see here is if you have a good route running receiver that will get open and get separation against man to man coverage but even more importantly what a lot of people will do is a lot of people will play when they start seeing what you're running a lot of people will play cover four drop and they'll basically play hard flats on the outside what's really cool about this setup right here is when you go to something like this you see that this crossing route does a really good job at kind of getting in a tender spot against that specific coverage so the point being is it is it looks the same but this time you're going to do the motion over and he's going to be on you know this this post route crossing route type of setup as opposed to being on the post route corner route type of setup so anyways the another thing that i didn't talk about a ton is how i really really like even leaving this corner route on its default depth and you'll find that on this default depth here um it's a kind of a late read and i and i threw it way too late that time but what you'll what you'll notice is if you play you, you're gonna have to play a lot around a little bit with the the streak who to put on the streak. But once you figure out who to put on the streak, I'm pretty sure it's the inside guy. 
you're going to see that this this little, if you don't smart route the route, it gets even more open against a lot of zones in the entire in the game, including the Tampa 2 coverage. So if they're running cover 2 on you, this is a cover 2 killer. As you can see here, the corner route just gets wide open. So even if you get to throw out a sack, um, it's really hard for the defense to be able to play it. So anyways, guys, this is just one of several setups and really... Um, we get so much deeper with this play in the ebook, but this is truly one of the best plays in the entire game. And I just want to encourage you if you haven't picked up the ebook yet, we're doing a special sale for just our next couple of days um, through the weekend where we're selling this ebook for 15 bucks. So just 15 bucks, and I believe you're going to get access to the best offense in the entire game because of how simple it is, how easy it is to learn, but also at the same time, how effective it can really make your offense in Madden 21. So I want to thank you for watching this video and I want to remind you that if you'd like to pick up that ebook that link is in the description of this video and if you have any questions you can text me. My number is in the top left hand corner of the screen and I'll just give it to you really quickly. It's 812-216-3644. It's also in the description. Make sure to pick up that ebook and let me know what you think. I believe this is probably the best ebook that I've ever released simply because of how straight to the point it is, but also how adaptable it is to um, your everyday Madden game. It can go as deep or as shallow as you want. It's all about execution at the end of the day, and we try to teach you how to execute at a very, very high level in this ebook. So thanks for watching, and if you want to pick it up, it's in the description.